to Natik Yarns here in Elk Grove, California, and NatikYarns.com coming to you live on Fantastic Friday. I had so many people ask me about my sweater that I was wearing yesterday, and I don't normally wear store-bought sweaters um, because everyone wants to know what... Uh, what they've what I made it out of so here's I didn't do any research I'm gonna let you guys do the research on that one because frankly holy Toledo my, my plate's a little busy but on Ravelry I did hear that there is a pattern for something like that someone's trying to reverse engineer it and the sleeves and the back are knits in like a honeycomb fabric and then the front is granny square when I have time this weekend when I'm not quite so crazy busy I would love to um, share that with you. But if you find it, I would. Fantastic. And I mean, this was a $20 sweater. And I'm going to tell you, it was cut and sewn like here and ends are coming out. So just be aware of uh, weaving in your ends. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. So this is my Starbucks mug from I think it's the first time I went to England. I'm trying to think when it would be 20, maybe in 2008, I still have it. And I got rid of almost everything, but it's a really big mug. So I'm loving it. Thank you, Darla. I loved yesterday's sweater. I'm loving the slipover right now. I can't wait to talk to you guys about it. Mm. I forgot something. Here we are. Woo! If you have not seen... Um, signed up for our newsletter, make sure that you do because there are amazing uh, notices that you are going to get from this. This is our grand prize that we give out once a month. One lucky winner is going to get it. I have answers about this beauty and it's already been ordered for people who want um, to know more about the colors. I'm just going to lay everything out because it's easier. Ooh. There we go. So we have in here a kit with two patterns. One is River Rock, one of our patterns on Ravelry. It's easy, fun, fast. Um, I believe we have a hat that goes with it. And then we also have my favorite super bulky hat pattern. This is Fleur de Pommier. You can see the little dashes. An easy one night pattern. Both of these, the hat takes one skein. And the cowl could be done with multiple skeins of yarn. So I'm going to tuck that in so people can see it. We have this beautiful skein of Malabrigo Rasta in color 037 lettuce, which is the most gorgeous crocodile color. Kind of leans a little uh, yellow, but so very beautiful. This is a really nice representation of this not perfect spin that Malabrigo does. So beautiful. Uh, Rasta has about 90 yards per skein. It can be knit um, all the way up to a 17 or 19 needle, depending on what you are looking for. All right. Good morning. Hey, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, okay, this one. Everyone has been asking about this colorway. This is Dream and Color Savvy in the color Mermaid Shoes. I have ordered it. So we should have it maybe in like a week or two. I did order it in Smushy Cashmere and Cosette and of course Savvy because it's absolutely beautiful. There are so many colors in this. It's just hard to describe them all. We have a beautiful cobalt blue, an admiral blue, cerulean, a little bit of sky blue. In the purple family, we have magenta which is really this one. Then we have fuchsia. We have some lavender and lilac and this little pop of watermelon. So beautiful. In the greens, we've got juniper, which is this really dark, almost foresty green, but a light um, blue hue to it with some lime and a little bit of moss, 130 yards of super bulky. This is what I am knitting on for my easy lace pullover. Uh, I believe I can do it with three skeins. I'll let you know, because my second class is tomorrow. I'm, I couldn't knit any further because I'm at 
my homework's done for that one. So we've got that one. We have the Voluspa Panjori Lychee, which is one of the candles. It is, <laughs> it is a travel candle, but I use it for traveling. I use it for my room to smell good. I use it in my knits to keep the bugs away and also to protect my stash. Okay, you can kind of feel it wafting this way. Darla, that was on purpose that I paired those two together because um, Jenny Noto has some amazing hats and cowls using two skeins. Ooh, I love this one. It is definitely a light floral. This is a 25-hour burn for this tiny little candle. So I love that. We have our pack of locking stitch markers. You can't have enough of these. I don't just use them for knitting. They're all over my house. They're how I um, wind up my ends. So I butterfly them and then clip them together when I'm machine knitting. I do the same. I use them to hold my bra in place sometimes, hold my cords in place. There's 144 in this 12 of 12 different colors. Happy Hanukkah, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, Roxanne and Kathy and Shelly. And if you're not in your 50s, that is a romper room reference. All right, we've got two pairs of fantastic socks. We have the cashmere blend, and we actually have new socks that will be coming out next week. Super soft, luxurious, and then we, in a more a smaller size, they would say a women's size, but we also have the bamboo rayon blend, um, which is a larger 10 to 13. So beautiful and soft. And that grand prize is valued at $180. I will be doing it live on December 2nd, which I believe, oh no, sorry, January 2nd, which I believe is a Tuesday. Let me tap that there. I like my new project too. I can't wait to talk to you guys about that one. Our daily price is a double skein of Noro in the most beautiful color of 341. Look at all this rich. You've got some melon, a little bit of rust, some Bordeaux, sage green. Ooh, you can see cobalt right there. A little bit of cerulean and this beautiful, very light aqua blue. So beautiful. Uh, you guys know Silk Garden is one of my favorites in the line. It's been around a long time. It is 45% silk, which really softens up the mohair, which is again, 45% uh percent mohair 10 percent wool 110 yards per skein very very easy uh, to knit with we have ribbon candy that is great uh and gateau light both of those can be used i had you at noro then you're gonna love the daily deal if you have not signed up for our newsletter do because you'll find out the daily deals before everybody else I'm also pairing this, which this is a new pairing, but I thought this would be perfect. This is my pattern antithesis, which originally was done optional. Um, a silky twist with an art yarn beaded silk and sequins, but you could just use this one. Perfect self-striping magic. It's knit on a size nine needle. This is something that you can finish in time for Christmas or the holidays or Hanukkah if you live close by or whatever holiday you celebrate. It is a very simple four round repeat. Three of the rounds are knit and one has some magic to it. I forgot about how you can get entered into the monthly drawing, but that's all right. Purchases. The daily drawing is just as easy. It's all about interacting with us. So you see these great little emojis at the bottom. Just tap them when you see something that you love. <laughs> Darla, we tried to have it be amazing, uh, amazing, um, and I just want to pass it on, pass it on, it's so good, it's a good feeling to give, and not everyone realizes that, but I love giving things away, even if it's at a crazy good price, all right, so when you comment in the live video, or later on, you are going to get five entries for every comment. And if you'd like to share them, you can share now. 
you can share to your stories and you're going to pop right in, say share to my stories, share to my friends. I didn't even check my writing. Oh, Sandy, I saw that you got it. So very exciting. All right. So one lucky winner is going to get this prize. It is based off of yesterday's video with our star videographer, Kathy Delgado, who was a great pitch hitter. Look at my baseball references. All right. So let's see. Based off of yesterday's video. Oops. Let's see. Oh, it may have kicked out. I don't know. Let's see. Good luck, everyone. Yeah, let's see who's going to be the lucky winner, winner, chicken dinner. Nancy Ingwersen, congratulations. Hmm. Hmm. Congratulations. I'm thinking it did today's video. So focus on this. Let me look. Nancy, I'm going to give you a prize, but I want to make sure it's yesterday's video. Oh, no, it was. Okay. That was weird. Because here's what I'm looking at. It says when she did it. Oh, no, that was the draw date. Oh, my goodness. Maybe I need better glasses. Congratulations. You guys, I'm still learning all the. Not bad for week one, though. Yeah. I'm learning all the tricks. Congratulations, Nancy. Nancy is not local. She is out of um, the East Coast. So she can. Um, what we do is we package this up, get it ready to go. It goes in our cupboards and uh, we do date it because we keep the prizes for one month. Uh, if you haven't made a purchase during that month, we do uh, recycle the prizes. If you're ordering online in the notes section, all you're going to say is I have a prize and we will put it in your next order. If you are local pop right in let us know you have a prize and we are so happy to get it all ready for you i need to do a little bit of housekeeping so maybe you can showcase the um beautiful daily deal so ladies here's our deal of the day this beautiful sweater along with our 50 percent off hanui by Nora. It is a bulky weight, 100% wool. We have it in four colorways. And that gorgeous sweater is out of it. Oh, yes. Look at this. This is amazing. And we have both colorways as it is in the sweater here. Um, do we know the name of this sweater? Um, No, not offhand. I'd have to look at it. But what I want to say about the yarn, this was specially bred for um, Noro, and it is natural colors. And I want to say, and I always like to say this because people don't realize how much nicer it is when it's been washed. So in a ball, it tends to be a little not as soft as it actually is. But in real life, when you've washed it once, let me see if I can see what that is. There should be a tag on it. When we've washed it once, um, I don't know. I don't know. We will get it to you. We'll get it to the, you. But isn't it gorgeous? The, it's a natural neutral. That is 50% off the original price while supplies last. We have had about 20 skeins go out today. So do not wait. Oh, let me tell you one more thing. You stay there. Okay. Uh, so I can tell you a little bit more about it. It is, they consider it a worsted, but it really does knit up bulky. And for the price, it's crazy good. 440 yards of a bulky, uh, it's a Aaron. I would knit it up at a bulky. I'm just going to say that. Even though they say worsted, when you have, Knit with Noro, you know it tends to knit a little bit bigger. Um, this is 440 yards for, what, 22, whatever 50% off this price is. 50% off, um, and it, it's luscious, luscious, 100% specially bred Hanui wool. It's much and, softer than you would think for 100% yes, wool. 
Eileen did knit her husband a sweater out of this yarn. Oh, nice. And I think, I mean, for most people, you're only going to need three or four. And that is a very affordable way of um, doing a sweater. I think a blanket out of it would be Ooh. beautiful because yeah. the price is not prohibitive for a beautiful, if you look up um, 1050, something like that, there's a really interesting... 10-4, I don't know. I won't share it later, but there's great blankets you can find on a Ravelry for that, which is so oh, I just kicked something loose that I shouldn't have. Um, let's see. He does. I know I love it. So I am gonna post what we're talking about next. Now, I don't know if you guys are like me, but as I get older, I cannot see as well, even with my glasses. And I was on the search for what I think is probably the best portable light. Those of you that are going on the retreat, you're definitely going to want one for your room. If you're knitting or crocheting in your room or just a little bit extra light. This is the Lumos and Lumos light that you actually wear on your neck. It is no batteries. It is charged. It comes fully charged. The turn on button is right here. So if there are adjustable settings, different um, if you want cool, warm, or bright. So nice. beautiful. Um, it gives you enhanced visibility. So black, using black or navy blue is no longer a thing. It is so lightweight that you can't feel it on your neck, which is really nice. And I know, Kristen, you just used it on a trip. She borrowed mine at a... Stitching. I went to a stitching mm -hmm. trip about a two hour flight away um, and one of the trips was at night and uh, you know they turned the lights off in the cabin and I turned that on and knit and it was just it was wonderful. So beautiful. I really like the fact that there's a cool light and a warm light with yep. that bright. You can so. kind of see. So there's your white. Cool, yep. warm, mm -hmm. bright. And ladies, it's so stinking light. You don't even know you have it on. I think it's nice for not even just this, like beading, anything that sure. you need a little bit of extra. What I love about it, it's super flexible. So you, we used it in my machine knitting class yesterday. Nancy wore it around her neck to see a little bit better. And you can literally tilt it where you want it to go. Press the button. And then it'll spotlight right on that. So you can kind of stabilize it on your neck by bending it. Uh, you can see it doesn't weigh very much. It comes fully charged. It's energy efficient because it's using LED technology, which is really nice. It's durable, meant to last a lifetime. And what I need it for is really my eyes. Um, because as I'm getting older, I cannot, like even my navy blue um, date night that I just knit, I had to put a light right over it, and it kind of torqued my knitting style to get it at the right one, but this is fantastic. So that is the Lumos and the Lumos. Um, we did bring them into the store for people to buy yesterday, and whew, we sold a ton of them, because it you're always looking for an affordable, easy, I mean, it's super small, so you can just pop it in your knit bag or your carry-on, just really, really easy. And I, <laughs> if you do it right, look, at I made a heart. Yes, you did. Let me finish that. But you can actually, if you balance it like this, you can have this go forward, so it can make a desk light, too. Yeah. Yeah, perfect for beading, really. Yeah. Something that close. It does. It has a, all it is is a USB cord, right? Mm -hmm. It comes with that. So I recharge it on our computer. But very, it's very versatile. Very versatile and uh, not just for knitting and crochet, but my goodness, if that's not a great use for it. You know, maybe a sewing machine as well. You know, oh, that, true. That dark area shadow area when you're sewing mm -hmm. so. yes yeah. nice. so very very nice 
Um, Eileen said, good for a road trip. Thank you. Susan linked it. I was like, I would have to look. This is Brioni. There we go. I, you are definitely going to do a gauge. This is what I'm saying. Like they say this is worsted, but it's a 16 stitches. It's beautiful. It's at the cusp. Um, I It's beautiful. I will definitely be keeping that sweater, though I need to chop a little off because it's a little too long for me. But isn't it beautiful? Mm -hmm. it's very, easy, very nice. easy knitting. Uh, knit on a nine or an eight or whatever size you need. It's going to take somewhere between three and um, eight, depending on this eight, seven, seven. seven. So three to seven skeins, only one of your main color, though, or the contrast color. Nice. Thank you, Susan. You're awesome. Okay. There we are. I, I am going to be talking about this gorgeous new fall yarn that we knit into this beautiful vest and I will tell you the name later but it is um, in my Thursday night class so you guys know I teach Wednesday 12 this is in the store Wednesday 12 to 2 Thursday night 6 to 8 Friday 12 to 2 Saturday 12 to 2 if you need help on your projects the all skills classes are the best to teach Susan teaches Tuesday 12 to 2 Currently, I have room in my Saturday class. If you need help with a project and you're local, come on in, sign up for class. You meet great friends. Uh, but one of some of our classes, we do this every once in a while. We'll pick a sweater that we want to knit together. And this was something Susan used as a post on Instagram, and everyone loves it. It is from one of our favorite designers, Inca Strict. It is easy, top down, cardigan. There's a shorter length or a longer length, and this is what most girls are going to be using because what I'm finding in the European designers, they're pairing a sport or DK weight with a mohair. In, in California, we're wearing the knits next to our skin, so sometimes the um, mohair is a little too itchy for us. Mm -hmm. And this yarn fit the bill perfectly because it's lightweight and has a little bit of halo. And I'm super excited to introduce you to it and show you some pretty amazing patterns. So this is Barocco Talara. And let me just double check if I actually linked it, which I think I did. So hold on. Um, it looks so soft. Yep. So Talara is a worsted weight yarn. Goodness gracious. It's given me a different story. Here we go. All right. So it is um, 100% llama in a chainette construction, which is so nice to work with. Um, Rita. There is no code for the Hanui sale. It is already on sale. So we made it as easy as possible for you guys. Um, so there is a chain at construction. It is, it knits up at a variety. So it's really like in that worsted, almost Aaron weight. Uh, good yardage on this. So it's 18 to 19 stitches, 132 yards. That just tells you how amazing and lightweight this chainette construction is because it creates an I-cord um, that makes it very light but warm because it traps your heat in it and makes it cooler. Copy. Hold on. Here we go. So beautiful. All right. I have actually posted the link so you guys can see. Remember, if you want more links or, or all the patterns that we are talking about, you are going to want to sign up for the Natique Collective or watch it on YouTube. That's where we link everything. So there's 132 yards, very, very soft. I love how they have QR codes now. It is a hand wash in cold water lay flat to dry and I want to show you guys what um let me do a few colors and then I'll show you what we're going to knit so this is color 7301 let me turn it so you guys can see it 
and that is linen. It's this beautiful, not too warm. It's got a really nice hue to it. It's not too yellow, but it is a creamy linen. And I tried to do it kind of in order um, so that you guys can see this one. This is color 7307, and I feel like it's sandcastle. Oh, yeah. Even though it is this dyed at the same time all out of baby llama combination. And it is so very beautiful. So you're going to get some highs and lows within it. As you can see, that is what I am wearing. It's beautiful. It's, okay, Sandra, isn't this gorgeous? For those of you guys that are looking for this pattern, it is called Morel, M-O-R-E-L. I can't wait to show you more details about it and then talk a little bit at the end, but this Slip over vest is so popular, and I'm going to give you some styling tips on it. All right, I love this one. This is color 7316. I'm calling it light rose ballet slippers because it has a little bit of a blue tinge to the rose, but so very beautiful. All right, wait till you guys see. This sweater um, is going to work for everybody hopefully i haven't ditched it you've got somebody really loving this color no so gorgeous okay this is it this is rebel by inca strict oh my goodness check this out ladies. so cute there's a short version and a long version it is top down so you get to choose how long you want to make it it is not it's not done in pieces she has just an amazing way of doing it i do wonder if you pick up at the I haven't read it, even though I bought the pattern already. Um, but you can see this gorgeous, super classic, very wearable. And I will pop it up on Ravelry in a second. I want to scroll down and show you the long version. Now, that might be too long for you, but that's okay. You can do something in between. It's really gen generously sized. Uh, she says one to nine. Um, so let me pull it up on Ravelry. Let me do here and I can just go into my notebook of 10,000 patterns. <laughs> Don't on. we all have 10,000 patterns? Oh my goodness. There we go. Library. There we go. So we go. the Rebel. Let's go here so we can talk about it. So they used a sport and a lace to create worsted. You can just use a worsted. Rios would be amazing out of it. So this is using 1,094 to 2,078, depending on your size and the length that you're going to be doing. See, seamlessly from is worked seamlessly from the top down. Start working the collar separately, then the back stitches are picked up from the collar and the upper back is shaped with increases. Wow. Nice. All pieces are then joined to work the yoke. So it is, even though it looks like holy Toledo, I have to do that totally separately. You don't. And the sleeves are worked top down. Her patterns are amazing. She even has questions and a knitting support group. Uh, she did design it for 10 and a half positive ease for smaller people. Mm. You know your ease. What's your favorite size? Uh, this is to me more of a jacket, so I would do positive ease, probably about two to four inches. Ten and a half, no, that is crazy That's amount, big. unless you're like a size one. Um, but otherwise, if you are a little bit larger or busty like me, you have less ease on that. Nice. All right, let me scooch my water and lotion over. Okay, bye. This is color 7322. I'm going to best describe this one. It's um, like a cassava melon, but not quite so orange. It's a coral-leaning mm -hmm. orange. And you can see all this halo that you're getting on the side. There is very few guard hairs. It's been really uh, processed nicely. The chainette is essentially I-cord. But you can see the melange of the highs and lows in that. 
Very nice. This is probably one of my favorite mm -hmm. colors. Very hot for the season right now. This is color 7333 Tuscan Sun. Wow. Definitely that sunflower yellow, but not quite as um, bright. If I were to name it a Crayola color, I would say goldenrod. Oh, okay. But very, very pretty. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do one more, then I'm going to show you more patterns. For the people who are like the green, and Jennifer K was one of the people last night. She loves the green. This is 730, 733, oh no, 7311. Mm. This is uh, a beautiful light sage. Yeah, they're all so soft. And so many more patterns to show you. Okay. Okay, here we go, here ladies. Here we go. This is, oh, this sweater. This is the Garden Cardigan by, again, Anka Strict. So beautiful. Um, you do, it's interesting, you do this back piece to the armpits. Mm. Then you pick up and knit that piece, this piece okay. to it. And then you pick up and knit that piece to it. So oh, there's wow. an overlap, but she designed this so it would stay on her shoulders while she's moving around and doing things. And you get that from the overlap. It kind of makes it a little bit smaller. Again, six different sizes. This yarn, they use two yarns, but you could easily do one yarn. And what's that lace pattern? It's like my um, making circles in the sky. Okay. It's a yarn over, knit two together, or a SSK yarn over. Um, it's essentially a four I really like the way it hangs in the front. I'm going to say it's a four round repeat yeah. with a lot of stock in it in between. Let me pull it up here. Let me pop open another one to show you guys. All right, here we are. So this is it. Perfect. Open cardigan so that it stays on while working in the garden. It has a hidden pocket on the inside, works okay. seamlessly from the top down. So there you are, see? Pick yep. up in that. Beautiful. I wanna show you guys the pocket, it's so cute. Oh, look at that, guys, right there. It's kind of hiding. If you go to the right. Yeah, yeah. you can see it better. Yep. There we go. So cute, though. So and pretty. let me, if you pop back, I'm gonna show you guys People have made it because she's great about uh, getting people to test her patterns. But just look at some of these. Okay. Beautiful colors. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. For the blue people, oof, we have so much of a blue that's coming up. But I just love the um, choices that people use. Look at this one. She this one? brought it together. This one right here. Wow. Oh, yeah. So she, um, she, seemed it. she seamed it. Or it did she seem. pull it over? I don't know. It almost looks seamed to me. It I could be. It could be. It's pretty. It's, be it's beautiful. She definitely has more ease. So super pretty to do. All right. Let me show you some other ideas because I think there's fun things for this. Okay. Um, this one. Oh. This is a one skein wonder called the Yakima Ear Warmer. I'm going to pop up the actual one. They use two colors. It's a free pattern. Knit on a size 8 needle. This, the magic happens in the seaming of this together. It looks, they probably have ribbing or they did it in a tube. I'm not really sure, but not bad for a one skein gift. It looks so cute when you have an updo like this. <laughs> Here's another picture of it. But I wow. love the idea of these one skeins. Um, and they do a really good job of explaining it, how you're going to sew it. You yeah. basically take, it'll be really hard to show on this, but let me try it. You're going to take one like this, and then the second piece is going to go in like this. Oh, wow. Right? And then you whip stitch all four layers together and then pop it out. Shazam. We do have oh. an on-demand class for this. Not this pattern, but one that's very, very similar. 
Uh, if you guys didn't know, we do on-demand classes from the classes we've done before. Great tips, really well done, and it's an exciting way to um, find out more about it. Okay, here is uh, Tardufo, which is actually made out of Talara. Look at this beauty right here. You mm -hmm. don't have to have the neckline so tall. You could make it shorter, but for people who are in a little colder area, what a great layering piece. Lots of stockinette. There's the hem, split hem that we love. Definitely a tunic length. And I don't know if I could, no, I forget that they don't do that. You can see that there's a little bit of halo that occurs from knitting this one. Mm -hmm. I like how it covers the tush. Mm -hmm. All right, we still have five more colors oh, to share is, with you. Awesome this beautiful. is color, uh, let me see this one. Maybe I did it wrong. Hold on. 7327. Um, I just think that that is really more of a blue green color. Like juniper? Mm -hmm. a, yeah. No, juniper is a great one. You can see that this green which is color 7311, leans more yellow. Mm -hmm. This color, um, 7327, leans more blue. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. I'm not a light blue person, but I just think this is beautiful. This is uh, 7315, and I am calling that baby blue eyes. Oh, yeah. Kind of a light denim, mm -hmm. maybe. Beautiful. Just beautiful. It does have some of the denim colors in it, but wait till you see the the actual. Oh. This is seven three two eight. Look at something like that together. Oh, wow. This is more of that French blue or a uh, mid range denim. It really is reading darker than it is, ladies. There is a very heathered look, light and dark like the others, very tonal. Um, but it is a bit lighter than it is reading on the camera right now. So very beautiful. What is the name of the tunic turtleneck? Let me look again. Here you go. I want to say okay. tart UFO <laughs> because that's the only way you could remember that. Tart UFO. Beautiful sweater. And um, what's nice about doing, let's just say, this pattern, because it's a lot of sweater, you want a yarn that is lightweight so it doesn't pull down on you and stretch. And a chain at construction is one of the ways to achieve that. It's a lot of times where they're using a sport weight and a mohair is because of that. For those of you who are in the neutral category that love neutrals, we have 7308, which is the most gorgeous silver. Mm -hmm. um, do you wear silver? I do now that I'm graying. I'm losing my brown hair, but uh, more of the uh, blue silvers, the silver silvers, and then the gem tones. Oh, gosh. Yeah. It keeps finding all these beautiful you, patterns, you guys. These little vests are so popular. This is vest number two, spring edition. I love the deep V on it and the deep armholes, right? Yeah. So it's going to hang a little bit lower. You can wear a blousey shirt underneath it. I love the center double decrease right here that gives you this beautiful line and a little bit of a split hem, oh, which yeah. just makes it stay down. I love V-neck, too. And look, they knit that in a little over three weeks. Seven skeins of Talara to knit beautiful. that one. And let's see. This is another one that I thought was beautiful. This is Tea with Jam and Bread by uh, Heidi Kiermaier. This is what she, she actually used Talara. But isn't that gorgeous? I love the little pockets. Not that you'd actually need them. So if you do not want to draw attention to that area of your body, skip the pockets. But such a cute top-down sweater. Let me show you the actual one. Tea with jam and bread. 
oh my gosh, how cute is this guy with it? So fun. <laughs> Here is, look at a whole range. So you can do it for your favorite littles. Nice. This guy's got attitude. <laughs> Take the damn picture, mom. Yeah, get it over with. Mm -hmm. I love that she posted that. What Kids don't have to be all smiley, smiley. Do you think the right color there at the middle above the pockets could make it seem more slimming? Yes, if you put dark there. Yeah. That's what I would say. If you want to be a little bit more slimming, your background's going to be dark and bright color stripes. Um, so cute. Like, this gal did it. Mm -hmm. I still don't know if I would do a light light. I would do a mid-tone range or a dark with two bright. Oh, nice. Because okay. this having light at your waist makes you look bigger. Okay. I mean, she's tiny, so it doesn't make her look bigger, but it is definitely, uh, you know, just to be aware. Yeah. And the last color in this line is 7339, which, of course, the most gorgeous graphite color. So pretty. You can see there is, like, more of a lighter charcoal with some dove gray because you can see kind of those fibers in there also nice and just the way that it dyes is pretty incredible i want to show you so those are all the colors and i want to show you how i look for more patterns because i get questions all the time how do you guys come up with such great patterns okay. and here's my secret i'm going to go right up here and i'm going to just take out everything that i did so my first way that I do it, I'm going to put in the brand, the type of yarn, and see what, it's a newer yarn. So there's not going to be that many projects, 38 projects. And then there's, I then I scroll down, I'm like, what do I love? There's hats, love it for mosaic knitting, so cute. I think this is really cute. On the C train. Mm -hmm. So I'm not sure where they live. Is that Chicago? I don't know. But look how cute that is. It'd be very okay. soft on your head. So I like that. Um, there's another morel. I think that's beautiful. Here's a Sophie knit out of it. Oh, wow. Look at that. Sophie's so crazy soft and easy. The only thing I'm going to say that I don't like about it, you have to track your rows. Mm. And so that, um, you know, if you flub up real quick, you're in trouble. Okay. This is cremony. So let me get a better picture. Let's see if I can get closer to that. There we go. Oh, look at that pattern. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. You can make it longer for those of you who don't want it long. Okay, so I'm going to, if you scooch back a little, yep. I'm going to show you guys how. So that, there's not a ton, right? Only two pages. So then what I would do now, I go back to here. And I'm just going to patterns. I'm going to advanced search. Oh, okay. I'm not even going to say that I'm knitting or crochet. I want to do everything. But I only want to use, it's worsted. Okay. It could fit in the Aran. So we'll tap that one too. Let's do worsted first because it makes it a little bit easier. And let's say I only have two skeins of these. So I'm going to tap in the 150, 300. Then I scroll all the way up, and I'm going to hit hot right now. Oh. And here's how you find, if you have two balls of this, what you can make out of it. Okay, I can tell you right now this one. The one, very wearable. It's free. Knit on a 5.6, tighter gauge means it's going to be a little bit warmer. And look, they have child and adult sizes. I love the top. They did a square top nice. uh, right there. And look at that little leather tab, guys. So cute. We do have our tags in stock, and it's free, so I love that one. Nice. Um, this is kind of fun. My sister always wanted something like this, a hat scarf. So oh. it, you make a hat and then attach it to a scarf. Nice. Or the other way around. Good for little kids, so they yep, don't lose one or the baby other. Baby toddler, I love nice. that. A variety of sizes, somewhere between 200 and 400 yards. All right, so let's change it up. That I have, let's say, 900 to 1,200 yards. Now, here's what you can. I'm going to scroll up. 
It should still be, I always look hot right now because more people are using it, okay. right? Mm -hmm. Rebel cardigan, which is kind of, it's a hot pattern right now. Yeah. Love this Lulu slipover. I love color work, but look at, this doesn't look so bad. Oh. And it's in, oh, this has got some great details. So having this garter section brings in the line and the color, you guys, is just a little mohair added. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. You could use the alpaca super light or cash silk light to add just a little bit, and it's not going to add much. That detail moves mm -hmm. from the collar all the way down to the bottom of it the does. sweater, it's too. It's so cute. Um, let me see. I want to show. I always love this one. This is yeah. Lumi by Sari Norland. I just, even doing it out of, like, these two. Gotta go down here, guys. I should have, sorry, held up, but That's like okay. those two would be gorgeous. Yep. These two, these two, you need contrast to that. I think that's beautiful. That is on my wish list to knit. Um, some of my other favorites, oh, look at this one. Snow Crocus by Midori House. Yeah. Oh, Midori Hiroos. That is so funny. I've always read it as house. Wow, look at all of those. Mm -hmm. Is that a cable? It is right here wow look at that and then these are like twists but you can see on there too yeah. it's like a modified um wishbone okay cable nice keep you from getting bored all right uh sandy what i would do is i would only use a portion of it i would buy three balls and you just do so many rows, so many rows, so many rows, and do the same thing on the sleeve. I would tend to do it on the sleeve down here. So you have three spots here, here, and here. You want to work in odd numbers. All right, we're going to talk about what we have on the schedule for classes, what we're wearing, and then we're going to release you in the wild so we can pack all the orders that are have come in today. So we're walking over here. Kristen, the first thing we're going to be talking about is the Persian Tiles Blanket Knit Along because actually this Saturday is the second of a series. Next Tuesday is the second of a series. So you'll see a little bit of a drop in uh, classes just because it's two parters. Persian Tiles, not too late to start. This is a crochet along. If you join it now, you um, get access to our pre recorded classes. And then you can join us live or you can join the recording. It is a perfect way of doing your crochet uh, squares because we are doing two rounds a month. And then you get your rounds done 15 to 20 really hexagons. Um, and the first class is all about organizing it. All right. Next in the lineup on Tuesday, December 19th. We have this gorgeous looks like weaving scarf using two different colors of earth 16 fingering. You do not want to use a variegated. You want to use solids in opposite colors. So there's high contrast to really showcase this um, mosaic knitting. Uh, we call this a confident beginner because it's really not that hard. You need uh, 400 yards of two different colors. You're going to see a couple other ones. Susan's going to do the signs today, and then we can talk more about it tomorrow. But last, that is easy to talk about, is the pink agave shawl. This is a one-session, one-hour class using 400 yards of a worsted weight yarn. You could use Noro, Akari, Tasogari. You could use Rios. You could even use Plymouth Encore if you're giving it to someone that needs some wash and wear ability. And frankly, the Talara would be gorgeous. You could do multiple colors, like three different colors. Nice. Um, you could do two of one and one each of the other two. And you would change your colors in like these two would be out of color one. And then you would do color two and then shift to color two. And then you would merge out from there. But so many good options. We have lots of goods today. Um, all of our sh uh, shopping that you guys did yesterday is ready for pickup today. So 
we are on track for smooth shopping, which is very exciting. Um, Sandy, Susan is in the back. She is um, recovering. That's what I'm going to say. Definitely, you can hear it in her voice. She has that a crazy, uh, crooky cough. So she will be wearing her mask today in store. You know what's nice about wearing masks? Now it's like um, not a big deal. When you're sick, you wear your mask. Easy, easy, easy. So we're going to talk about what I am wearing. And I'm going to come around because I want to show you um, how to style it. Because a lot of people get nervous about styling. This is the Morel vest. You pair it with a longer, oversized, super blousey top so that it hides whatever you want hidden or you just like the style. Um, the reason you see it kind of blouse up a little bit because there's not vents on the side, but I don't mind this because I like that it's a little bit taller. Um, this is a really fun um, cable pattern. It's a twist, right? But they do call it cable diamond structure. So very soft. I love a little bit off the shoulder. Oh, nice. Nice armhole. Yeah. Not so too tight. not too tight, not too loose. I just think it's really, really, really pretty. Uh, one by one ribbing. But this is how you style something like this. You wear it with a thinner, like a thinner legged pants. Because here's what I find with most women. Our weight is here. Right. Sometimes here, right. but if you um, use a thinner pant, not a skinny, it could be like a slim cut, a straight cut, nothing too big, right? So not those big palazzos, but it offsets that this is a little bit looser and you've got that. Right. So just to give you some very nice styling techniques. Very nice. But I love this one, super fun. And I paired it, look at, am I Christmas or what? These are some new shoes that I got on sale. <laughs> So I'm oh, red and green. Is that a rosette? It is. Let me show you. They're so damn cute. <laughs> Look here it comes. Oh, my gosh. Those are adorable. So adorable. I found them on sale. She has the best wardrobe, you guys. I swear. You know, I try and get it here and there. That's what I'm going to say, especially if they're on sale. Talera is a worsted weight yarn. All right. So we're going to turn it around. I wouldn't seat. normally say that I would be a vest person, but I think they're so damn cute right now. So I have a cowl on today. It's called Cannon Beach. This is a pattern that It we... may be Haystack Rock. Oh. I may have told mm. her the wrong name. Well, I will dress one. you, Kathy. It was this one. <laughs> I think it's Haystack Rock. I will say that. Yeah? Yeah. This is one that I that I sat in, a, in an all skills class and learned. Um, so... Isn't this cute? It is. This is not hard to do. Uh, Talera would be beautiful with mm. this one. Uh, it is horseshoe lace, so yarn overs, some double decreases in the center, knits. It's knit in the round, so there's not very much. Okay, everyone wants to see your fun shirt because she is oh. festive. <laughs> look at this. And it's a V-neck. Yeah, so I love V-necks. And there's bejewels. Look at her. How mm. cute is she? Snowman skating. Carolyn Sanchez, good morning. We hope you're feeling okay. All right, so when you grab it, grab from this side. So then you don't touch the camera. Grab your, yeah, there you go. I'm learning. I'm still learning, guys. All right, my lovelies, we are off like a herd of turtles. I see lots of orders have come in. I'm sure for some of the beautiful, it's a, kind of an L day, Llama and Lumos and Lumos. So thank you so much for joining us. I will be teaching uh, today, 12 to 2. If you need a little bit of help, we do have room in tomorrow's class. And I can't wait to see you. So come on in. Stay a while. If we're not teaching a class, you are welcome to uh, join us at the table. And also, if you want to join us for a knit, sip, and hook with Boss Lady, which is basically a knitting crochet circle. I do that live on Tuesday and Wednesday um, from 3 to 4 Pacific time. The link is the pinned post with a picture of Everly and I. And it's super fun. We get to meet people all around the world. So thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us. Have an amazing Friday. Bye-bye.